Happy birthday to Willie. And over now to Azerbaijan for an international jazz festival that offers something out of the ordinary. For decades, jazz was officially banned in this former Soviet Republic. But as CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg explains, that ban has led to the development of a very unique musical style. The soothing signature sounds of jazz, recognizable around the world and enjoyed for more than a century, even here in Azerbaijan. But most of those years, this was an underground pleasure. Under Stalin, jazz was considered, quote, the music of capitalists. And it was banned until after his death. But even then, public perception that this was the bohemian sound of the West remained difficult to change. So local artists combined music of the East, known as Muram, with sounds of the West, and got something new, Azeri jazz. Mugam can be changed to jazz like this. This is the language of Azeri jazz. Artist Rauf Sultanov remembers the Soviet days and the resistance of jazz. American art didn't fit with the USSR's ideas. This music takes people from one level to another, and the Soviet government did its best not to let this inside the country. But Azerbaijan is multinational, and the people here are intellectual, so the Soviets couldn't block it from flourishing. Baku had also become home, secretly, to musicians from a number of Soviet cities trying to get around prohibition. On the walls of this jazz club, many of them are recognized among famous Western musicians and national favorites. Things got easier, says this local jazz researcher, when the government noticed another genre come onto the scene, rock. They started putting pressure on rock. Some musicians started promoting the idea that jazz is serious, academic and thoughtful music. But rock, that's dangerous, a social protest. Decades on, Baku now hosts an international jazz festival, supported by the government. That puts Azeri jazz in the spotlight. Good news to a new generation of fans. We can't express these feelings because it's now in our blood, we can say, because it sounds better for us. The other jazz songs is like plain, but Azeri jazz is more energized for us. Thanks to a surge in popularity, there's more music to come. <laughs> Rowie Rettenberg, CCTV, Baku. Coming up next, going nuts for cronuts. For those with a sweet tooth, listen up. The new kid on the block in New York is the cronut, a fusion of croissants and donuts.